Hello again, this is Brad Wenz from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report. I'd like to talk to you today about the Environmental Quality Incentives Program. Uh, I, I know we have talked about EQIP before on the radio, and we've also mentioned that there's a deadline coming up for the sign-up uh, for the 2018 uh, EQIP program. But I want to uh, go through uh, a little bit about uh, some of the popular practices that EQIP uh, can help uh, farmers with uh, and uh, a little bit more about the program. The Environmental Quality Incentives Program is a voluntary conservation program that provides financial and technical assistance uh, to agriculture producers uh, to plan and implement conservation practices that improve soil, water, plant, animal, air, and related natural resources on agricultural land and non-industrial private forest land. Um, we don't have a lot of that here in, in Stearns County, but we do have some. Uh, most, of it, uh, most of our EQIP is uh, uh, applied on agricultural lands uh, where there's crop production. Um, I, I want to emphasize that if you're interested in the EQIP program, this is our federal cost share program administered by the Natural Resources Conservation Service. If you're interested in this program, you'll need to apply um, at uh, the uh, NRCS office uh, before August 18th uh, this, this year. The deadline is August 18th for the 2018 EQIP program. Uh, I know you don't know what you're signing up for or what kind of practices you'd be eligible for, but at least uh, I think if you had the application in our office, uh, we could do some planning um, uh, after your application is into us. At, at least you'd be in our file and we'd have the application on record. You can always cancel that if there's nothing that uh, would work on your farm. Uh, but at least you would have the application in our in our system. Um, the uh, you would apply at the uh, Stearns County NRCS office, which is located in Marketplace Mall in Wade Park. Uh, we're co uh, they are co uh, co located with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District in the USDA Service Center uh, here in Wade Park. Again, the deadline for EQIP 2018 is uh, August uh, 18th. Uh, uh, coming up pretty soon. It's amazing how fast the summer is uh, getting away from us. The EQIP program, uh, we, we, there's a lot of very popular practices that farmers are signing up for for EQIP, uh, one of which is cover crops. Uh, in 2017, the base payment was $41.56 for cover crops. If you want to try planting cereal rye, radishes, turnips, some of these other things that farmers are, are looking at to improve soil health in their farms, um, uh, EQIP uh, could help uh, pay for that, uh, that practice. Another very popular practice is the Ag Energy Agricultural Energy Management Plan, which is basically an energy audit on your farm. Uh, the, if, you're, if you're funded through EQIP for this, uh, they'll pay approximately 75% of this energy audit. And this uh, energy audit is the first step to determining what types of energy-saving practices uh, that um, could help you on your farm. They're eligible for payments under the practice called Farmstead Energy Improvement. I mean, it's amazing the number of things that EQIP could help uh, farmers pay for, uh, ventilation improvement practices on the farm, uh, for, the, for the dairy operators, improvements in the plate cooler, um, scroll compressor, um, water heating system improvements, livestock water, livestock or, or water extraction equipment, uh, variable speed drives. I know the irrigators are interested in these variable speed drives to save costs for irrigation. And they're also uh, any, any type of uh, motor, uh, electric motor system on a farm. Uh, uh, many of those could, be, could benefit and save power with uh, being controlled with a variable speed drive. Motor, motor upgrades for various horsepowers are available for the, through this practice. Um, there are many different things, but it has to be identified in the energy audit, and that's where you'd start. Um, we'd be looking at an energy audit uh, probably in 2018 and possibly advance to some of the energy-saving practices available through the um, uh, Farmstead Energy Improvement uh, uh, practice. 
Some other things, uh, I know erosion control, you know, traditional erosion control practices, water and sediment basins, terraces, grass waterways, uh, gully stabilization structures, these are all, and diversions, these are all available through EQIP. The, um, we provide all free engineering assistance for these things, and the, and the cost of these practices is, is usually covered at about 75% uh, through EQIP. We also help farmers. Uh, we've been, uh, ever since I've been with the district starting in 1980 and before, we've helped farmers with uh, feedlot runoff control practices and waste storage facilities, mainly for MPCA compliance on their farms. Um, we also help farmers with grazing practices such as uh, fence line, pipeline, tank, seeding, stream crossings, and the prescribed grazing plan itself. Um, we all, through EQIP, we can also help farmers adopt conservation tillage practices such as no-till and strip-till. Um, if you're interested in, improve, in improving wildlife on your farm, w through EQIP, we can help uh, you establish tree and shrub plantings, uh, native prairie plantings, and wildlife uh, or wetland restoration practices on your farm. It all starts with a conservation plan, and that's the first thing we do after you um, you come into our office, whether you actually apply for EQIP 2018 or you just simply want somebody to come out on your farm without the actual formal application for funding. We can still come out and work with you on your farm. We developed a conservation plan to see uh, what types of conservation practices would fix the resource uh, concern that you have on your land. Um, so again, the EQIP uh, program, the deadline for EQIP 2018 is August 18th, 2017, coming up pretty soon. And you'd uh, come into the NRCS uh, SWCD office, CD office located here in the service center in uh, Wade Park. Uh, shifting gears a little bit here, I, uh, there is a kind of a sad note that um, we learned uh, recently that um, we lost a, a person here in Stearns County that the SWCD had worked with for many years, um, Mary Ellen Becker Johnson, uh, who taught at St. John's Prep uh, for almost 20 years, uh, recently passed away on July 3rd uh, at her Pearl Lake home. Um, the SWCD worked with Mary almost every year, I believe, during that entire time she was at St. John's Prep. Uh, we'd help her, uh, we'd come in and do classroom presentations uh, for her students, uh, and we also provided resources to Mary and her Envirothon teams to study in preparation for the Envirothon competition. Um, uh, she uh, actually led her Envirothon teams to three state titles, uh, which is a, a tremendous accomplishment for, for someone. And uh, Mary had an enthusiasm for teaching her students about the natural world that was really an inspiration for all of us. Uh, we will miss uh, Mary Johnson uh, dearly. Thank you very much. This has been Brad Wenz from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District. Have a good day.